Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Okay, some reaction requests. Um, one of them is John Farnham. I, I, I'm I'm stopping pronouncing his name, John Farnham. Uh, sounded like such a pleb um, is, is the correct word. Um, mispronouncing his name for so long. I'm really sorry about that, John Farnham fans. Um, okay, so this has been requested by George Ibrahim, he said, check out his performance help um, with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, the best live performance ever. It's a good claim. And then Amanda Gray has said, a must. So this is for you, Amanda and George. Um, so let's just find that song. Okay, found it. Six years ago, here we are. Before we get into this, this is John Farnham, Help Live with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Um, please subscribe, let me know what you think of my reactions, let me know um, what music you want me to react to. Um, I'm still going through a very vast list, I'm on uh, 41 out of 49, so I'm getting through them. Um, anyway, let's, let's crack on, let's crack on with this. So John Farnham, get through the adverts firstly. Oh, we're straight in. Okay. Here's an oldie but a wow, goodie. Wow, a lot of people. Oh, he's such a handsome fellow, isn't he? When I was younger, so much younger than today. I'm there. Thank you. 
What an amazing, amazing performer. <clears throat> well, well, well. Thank you, Melvin. Thank you, John. Good night. <clears throat> Be careful. Well, I can certainly see why he's loved, adored by so many people, um, even in the audience, the crowd. I just, they're in love with him, aren't they? Um, they're in love with his music. So a couple of things come to mind. Firstly, the song. Um, so obviously this is, I think John Lennon, well, the Beatles definitely performed this. I think John Lennon had a big part to play in the song. I don't know if he wrote the lyrics, but um, that seems to be a lot more, a lot faster than this. So this is a really slowed down, more of a bluesy rock version. Um, I think at the same time, a bit more contemporary. Um, I'm not gonna compare the two because they're incomparable, although it's the same song, but I love this one. I love this version of, of, of that song, or version in its own right, which means it's not a version, but um, you know what I mean? I like, I like this performance ir irrespective of, of the Beatles um, song. Um, I think with John Farnham, he's, he's so appealing as a performer. He's so, he's got a real, appeal he's he seems and i only know this from looking at three or four songs he seems like he's such a nice guy he just seems like a nice happy beautiful person and i love that i love that about about him i guess um i never met the guy i might be completely wrong but i don't get that impression i don't get that energy from him he's got so much passion he's a real singer that's what i would say he's a real He's got a real, a real voice. He's not, there's no auto-tune, obviously. There's no <clears throat> assistance um, with his vocals. Um, there's there's no el electrified, but you, do you know what I mean? It's not been put through an equaliser. It's just a pure, raw, beautiful, strong, yet soft voice. And, and I love that. Um, I, I hate comparing artists, but for me, the best vocalist ever, male vocalist, is um, Elvis. But I would say John Farnham's definitely up there. He's, and I, I'm, some people might be surprised to hear that, but I, I just love his raw passion. Um, this is amazing. I mean, I, I love the feeling I get from listening to this. It really makes me feel warm and happy inside and a little bit melancholy um, for the right reasons, I suppose, because um, of the nature of the song. But it definitely draws me in. Thank you very much for recommending this. Um, I'm not gonna do a rating on it because if I keep saying 100%, 90%, 100%, 90%, you can kind of think that I say that to everything, but he's definitely up there, but I'm not gonna do a rating because I don't wanna sound like a John Farnham and Pink Floyd channel. 
which is kind of what it's turned into, but that's not a bad thing, believe me. But he's definitely pulls up my heartstrings, as somebody recently said on, on one of my um, one of my reactions. I want to try and find out who that is, um, and I can't. But someone did say that recently, and that's exactly what he does. He does. He does pull at your heartstrings. Thank you very much for this.